If you're interested in learning more about this topic, please watch this video all the way to the end. For the most recent immigration news and updates, please like and share to this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button icon of the notification bell. Let's get started with the video. As of July 6, Canada has restarted all program express entry drawings. Since then, each draw has granted 250 more invitations to apply, EDAs, resulting in a reduction in the Minimum Comprehensive Ranking System, CRS, score criteria. However, the thresholds for passing are still extremely high. For the most recent express entry draw, applicants needed a minimum score of 533. Candidates would need to be reasonably young, highly educated, have work experience, possibly be bilingual, and have a score this high to qualify for an EDA. The CRS cutoff will normally be lower the more express entry applicants Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, IRCC, invites. However, a considerable number of express entry applicants with scores above 501 are now in the pool, in part because of unmet demand. Federal Skilled Worker Program, FSWP, draws have been put on hold by IRCC since December 2020, while the Canadian Experience Class, CEC, draws were put on hold in September 2021. Since there were no drawings encouraging them to apply during this time, the number of applicants with scores higher than 501 in the pool increased. Up to 12 months are allowed for express entry profiles to remain in the pool. As a result, compared to pre-pandemic, the pool's high-scoring prospects has increased dramatically. There were around 21,900 express entry applicants in the pool on March 3, 2020, the final draw before COVID-19 was deemed a pandemic, with scores ranging from 450 to 600. There were 66,813 express entry applicants in the same bracket in the draw on August 3, 2022. The most recent data available on the government website shows that 8,975 express entry applicants have scores between 501 and 600. This number represents fewer applicants in this category than the July 20 express entry draw, although it is still higher than what was seen on July 6. This indicates that more individuals with high test scores are entering the pool, but not quickly enough to stop the CRS cutoff from falling. Another element that may impact how much the CRS score falls is the quantity of Provincial Nominee Program, PNP, candidates in the pool. The provinces set this number because they are the ones that announce nominations. The express entry candidate's ability to reply quickly to a request to submit an application for a nomination, if they choose to, and the length of time it takes the province to complete the nomination are then key factors. The addition of 250 EDAs each draw in the last three lotteries has been sufficient to counteract the influx of new PNP and express entry applicants. As a result, the CRS rating has kept declining. It will take 30 weeks for draw sizes to equal the 5,000 we saw in December 2020 if IRCC keeps adding 250 EDAs every two weeks. March 8, 2023, would be that date. Every draw between January 8 and March 4, 2020, had an average of 3,700 EDAs. If draws increase at the current rate, it will take IRCC 20 weeks, or until December 28, 2022, to surpass this amount. Naturally, IRCC is not required to perform draws every two weeks, and the department is free to change invites as necessary. As we've seen during the pandemic, the department's capacity to uphold its processing criteria of 80% of applications completed in six months, as well as the multi-year immigration levels plan, will determine the amount of invites given. What does the 2022-2024 immigration levels plan say? In 2022, the IRCC anticipates receiving roughly 55,900 express entry applicants. 
Internal briefing materials inform us that the people in the immigration backlog will make up this number. However, among the 75,750 anticipated for 2023 are new express entry applicants. Application for permanent residence must be made within 60 days of receiving an invitation by an EDA holder, and the IRCC may need up to six months to process the application. The express entry target will then increase to 111,500 in 2024, which is on PAR with the annual express entry targets in 2021. What can we take away from this? Keep in mind the following criteria if you want your CRS scores to decrease so you can acquire an EDA. The IRCC does not announce its draw plans in advance. It can decide on draw sizes depending on its preferences and hold draws whenever it pleases. However, the express entry targets contained in the Immigration Levels Plan, which is scheduled to be amended by November 1, can affect draw sizes. As more invites are sent out, CRS ratings often decline. The number of PNP applicants or high-scoring express entry applicants in the pool, however, can also have an impact on the cut-off scores. Due to the 18-month break in all program draws, there are currently more applicants with scores above 501 in the pool than usual. Because the agency has sufficiently processed the backlog of applications to meet its processing requirement, the IRCC resumed draws in July. Candidates that are asked to apply can anticipate a six-month processing time for their applications. Looking forward. Early in 2023, IRCC anticipates organizing draws targeted at an economic objective, such as occupation, language proficiency, or another criteria. As a result, CRS ratings and program types might no longer be the main determining elements in EDA awarding. Furthermore, a motion introduced by Randeep Surai, the Member of Parliament for Surrey Centre, British Columbia, mandates that Sean Fraser, Minister of Immigration, present a plan by September 8 on how to give more weight to in-Canada work experience under economic immigration programs, among other priorities. Fraser is urged to expand paths to permanent residence for international students and temporary foreign employees through the express entry system in the Minister's Mandate Letter, which was presented to the House in December. In a June interview with CIC News, the minister clarified that this does not necessarily imply that applicants will receive more points under the express entry scheme. We should be able to give some clarity about how these paths could look over the coming months, and I'm really hoping we do because I think it's a huge opportunity for Canada, Fraser said. The provinces of Canada are also requesting more control over immigration. Four immigration ministers from Canadian provinces Manitoba, Ontario, Saskatchewan, and Alberta signed a letter asking for more control over immigration. Both Saskatchewan and Ontario are asking for more control over immigration as well as more nominations to send invitations to applicants. If they are successful, candidates for express entry may have even more chances to obtain permanent residency through the PNP. If you have not subscribed please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to click on that notifications bell icon see you soon in next new immigration update.